I wasn't getting out of bed and I wasn't caring for you. I felt really guilty. The most important thing to me is to be a good dad to you and your brother and your sister. And I just didn't know how I was going to be able to do it if I couldn't see. But I started running because I knew it was the only way for me to stay in the right mind. And running was really hard. I was so out of shape. But subconsciously, I think it was in revolt of my eyes. Do you remember when you first told me you were going to run across America? Yes, I do. It was 3,063 miles, and I ran 51 and a half miles a day for 59 and a half days. There was a lot of time for self-reflection, and my mind started to spiral, and I started to have like some really bad thoughts of, you know, I don't want to be out here. Mm -hmm. And... Sometimes I would feel forgotten, but you called me every single day like you promised you would. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and that was really important to me, Sophia. Why did you choose to call me every single day? Because I miss you. Just like, was like, I want to talk to my dad. <laughs> and that was the way I could. You know, since you're a little kid, you're always my best guide. It's not even like you're guiding me. It's like we're helping each other. Yeah. When you take my arm, it's so gentle. I feel so safe, so secure. Well, was it hard to be away from us for so long? Hard is not a strong enough word to describe it. It was like my heart had been ripped out, and I just didn't want to leave you guys. Yeah. But you guys have given me the grace to be able to do what I've needed to keep myself healthy and sane and happy. You are a beautiful person, and you are your absolute true self that inspires me on a daily basis, and I just, I love you for it. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, sweetheart. <laughs>